What's up, guys? We're going to be talking about two things today. We're going to be talking about the Matco Ratchet hose clamp pliers, and we're going to be talking about the Matco spline gear wrenches or ratcheting wrenches. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Um, but first, let's start off with the Matco ratcheting hose clamp pliers. Um, if you're looking for the part number there, that is the HCPR20A. Uh, see that right there. Um, if you're looking for them with Matco, I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can guys can go online and check that out and check the reviews. Um, not just my reviews and what I say, but if you want to go online and check it out on Matco. Um, there's actually different several versions of the ratcheting hose clamp pliers. Um, like I said, these are actually um, just your normal style. Um, what the ratcheting hose clamp pliers are used for is if you're in a tight spot, um, say if you're in, a, in an engine bay, and you're trying to get to a hose clamp um, towards the firewall or in those tighter around those these newer cars that are just so much tighter spaces um, nowadays if you're a technician mechanic um, you really need some of these pliers um, just because of how handy these pliers are and they're just so valuable to use a technician um, these are the ratcheting style um, and they do lock in place um, and what I mean by that um, if you see the teeth on this, this is actually for grabbing the hose clamp itself. Um, you squeeze the pliers and it squeezes that hose clamp and it locks it in place. If you see, let go of the pliers, locks that hose clamp in place. Now if I click this handle right here, releases it, complete release. Now with these, they run as a cable system and that's how most of these work. Um, they run as a cable system. Um, so when you're using these, it just squeezes that cable tightens the tension on it now I found using these um, you're really gonna only use these on your normal regular style um, hose clamps um, you're not gonna use them on the banded style that you might see like a CV axle style or the newer style um, that a lot of manufacturers are trying to go to um, just to makes it a little bit harder um, if you're looking for that style of pliers you're gonna be needing a banded style clamp pliers um, and those are for hose clamps um, these can be a little bit costly if you buy them off the tool truck. Um, they could run probably an easy hundred dollars. I actually got these on a little bit of a deal um, with my Matco guy. Um, as far as usability, I mean, like I said before, they're so valuable to have as a technician um, nowadays with being such tight spaces and engine bays. If you need something around a transmission, it's really going to get there. Like I said, you're not going to use this on every style of clamp, just your basic style of hose clamps. Um, heater hoses, um, coolant hoses, those supply lines, um, it's definitely going to be valuable to you. Um, and we all know as technicians, mechanics, if you're going into the business or if you're already in the business, it's definitely going to help save so much more time instead of trying to get around with those regular pliers, um, channel locks, whatever you use, normally would use. Um, and you're going to be able to hold that clamp, um, whereas normal pliers, you're not going to be able to hold. It's going to slip and you're going to have to fight it. Um, nowadays when you're trying to spend so much time trying to get hose clamps loose um, you get something that get a little stuck on your hoses um, this is going to kind of take care of that problem so you're not having to fight a hose clamp and trying to have to wiggle it back and forth this is definitely going to help you a lot um, even if you're not in that stuff such a tight space if you need one that's just going to lock that hose clamp in place just simply just ratchet that plier the pliers down and it's going to lock it into place like I said that does have a release um, so when you're done or you need to release that hose clamp when you get it in position just click the handle release it and you're good to go um, like I said they have different versions of the hose clamp pliers the ratcheting style um, I've seen them on Amazon I've seen them on eBay um, I've seen them in other stores um, but I actually bought these because of the lifetime warranty um, because of the lifetime warranty on these because of the cable systems or the clips or anything breaks I take it back to my tool guy hey it's I need a warranty this out can you do it for me sure no problem um, if I have to buy it off Amazon eBay or somewhere else online or a tool store they may not warranty that tool out it may have a lifetime warranty it may just be a, a simple warranty a limited warranty but this right here the whole tool is a lifetime warranty so what you're getting with this tool is that warranty and that's the main thing that you want as a technician or a mechanic or if you're turning wrenches and you're using this a lot because this tool really is valuable to you um, do I advise buying it off the tool truck definitely because of the limit the lifetime warranty 
Um, if you're just starting out in the business as a technician, mechanic, or whatever, uh, you may not have the funds um, or the financial stability um, to do so. Um, so if you have to start out, just get you a cheap pair um, online or something. If you just need them, try them out. See if you like them um, before you step up to the Matco's. Um, like I said, again, I'm going to give you the part number. I'm going to put a link in the description below and below the video. Check it out if you'd like. Um, let me know what you think about them. Um, if you buy them or if you have them, let me know what you think. Um, what we're also going to be talking about today is the Matco um, ratcheting wrenches. These are spline wrenches, so these are not your normal wrenches. Um, and what you're seeing is that spline tooth. Um, and we'll talk about what all this is going to fit. This is not just your normal regular spline gears um, If you guys have ever seen this style before um, It's multi style and I like these style wrenches. I usually bought these um, Just to do alignments um, suspension work um, Things of that nature the bigger stuff. Um, I really needed a bigger set of wrenches uh, my wrench set that I had at the time uh, before I bought these went only up to like 21 um, and I really needed some bigger ratchet wrenches, so that's why I found this set off the truck. Um, I don't remember how much they cost offhand, but um, I can also leave another link to the description below, and you guys can go online on Matco site and check it out. Um, if you haven't watched my videos before, you notice that I do talk about a lot of Ma about Matco. Uh, we can talk about that in another video. Um, but if you notice with these wrenches, they actually do have that flank style drive here. Uh, if you notice the teeth in there. Um, it is on both sides. Um, this is actually a 21. It goes this set I have here. Um, it's got a whole set that's going all the way up to 25. Um, if you notice the set, and I'll pull this card out here to show you what all this is going to do for you. Um, just to kind of give you an idea here, this is just kind of part of the um, blow molded case that you just seen. Um, if you notice, this is actually going to take care of several things. And just to kind of give you a quick view. Um, this is actually going to take care of your six point. If you've got a six point um, nut that's a little bit rounded off, or that fastener is just starting to kind of um, round off of the ends, that's going to be able to take care of that as well. Your torques, your normal torques, um, a square, a spline, and a 12 point. Um, so you're definitely going to have so much variety compared to your standard ratchet wrench. You're just going to get a six point and a 12 point in there. Um, this is going to be able to get all those variations in there. Um, so if you have any issues, you've got some of those bigger, um, some, some of these manufacturers now are going to these weird style fasteners, or if you see some weird style fasteners, you're able to be able to use that. Um, and just to kind of go off the card here, I have on my hand, um, this one actually says it's got 90 teeth, uh, a four degree swing arc, anvil drive box end, and it's also got the non-slip open end. Um, that's what again when I was talking about that flank drive style if you've seen snap on or you have the snap on flank drive style um, You know or realize that they've just released uh, their patent uh, their patent is open snap on so a lot of different manufacturers Carlisle um, Believe some of these other companies are starting to get that similar style to that flank drive um, It's from what I've seen and I've heard from other guys and if you look on YouTube the other styles um, that flank drive everybody's gonna have their own little style and take on that flank drive um, whether it be um, Has more of a depth on it or whatever the case is This is definitely a lot better to me. Like I said, this goes from 21 22 24 to 25 um, I could put the Kit number or part number for the whole kit here um, in the link in the description below so you can guys can go online and check it out um, That's all I've got for you guys today um, Check out the links that I'm going to put in the description. Um, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, like, share, whatever you want to do. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Doesn't matter. Thanks for guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.